And finally, question number 15, and there's certainly no denying that question 13 is a bit of a beast. So we've been given a function, we're told about a point that lies on that function, so I'm just going to add that information to my graph. So here I know that this is the point 4 and that's at 6. And I'm asked basically to prove that the region that's been shaded here is 46 units. Now we're going to do this in two parts. We're going to find the area of the triangle and we're going to integrate to find the area under the curve. So to write this down, first of all, we want to integrate between 2 and 4 uh, the function which is 32. I'm going to write this all on one line. So 32x to the minus 2 plus 3x minus 8 with respect to x. And that's going to give me the sort of area. Uh, so what should we call this? We'll call this R1 in here and then the triangle we could refer to as R2 and then we know that the total area R is going to be R1 plus R2 and we'll just make clear to our examiner what we're doing so we'll demonstrate that this region R1 is given as such. Now when I integrate I add 1 to the indice so that becomes x to the power of minus 1 divide by that new indice and that becomes minus 32. Add 1 to the indice that becomes x squared divide by that new indice and that becomes 3 over 2 and then this is going to integrate to give me 8x and I'm integrating that between 2 and 4 so then substitute in these values uh, and again at this point it's easier to rewrite it in the sort of original notation so that's going to be minus 32 over 4 plus 3 over 2 lots of 4 squared which is 16 minus 8 times 4 which is 32 and from that I want to subtract minus 32 over 2 plus 3 over 2, lots of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 8 times 2, which is 16. And that's going to give me negative 8, and then I've got here uh, plus 24, minus 32. And from the second bracket, I've got minus 16, and plus 6 minus 16. Now again we've got calculators in front of us so we throw that into our calculator and we work out that that comes out to be 10 and we're all happy for the first part. The next part we're wanting to find this intersection point here because I'm going to find the area of this by realizing that it's a simple triangle. I know the height of that triangle is 6 and I just need to know the base of that triangle and to know that I need to know the intersection with the y-axis. Well how do I do that? It tells me that the line L is a normal um, so in that case I know it's going to have perpendicular gradient to the tangent at that point. How do I find the tangent at that point? Well I need to differentiate which is what's making this question so beastly so the next thing that I want to do is I want to differentiate so I want to find dy by dx of that original function so I can sort of take what I had here in my integration to differentiate so that's going to give me negative 64 x to the power of minus 3 plus 3 and what do I want to do? I want to find the gradient so dy by dx evaluated at the specific point where x is equal to 4 which is going to give me negative 64 over 4 cubed which is also 64 and then I want to add on 3 so that's going to give me minus 1 plus 3 which turns out to be 2. Now that's the gradient of the tangent I now need to find the gradient for the normal so how are we going to write this? So the gradient of the tangent times the gradient of the normal will be equal to minus 1. So what do I know here? I know that the gradient of the tangent is 2. So I would say that 2 lots of the gradient of the normal will be equal to minus 1 or that the gradient of the normal is going to be equal to minus a half. Now I can go on and find the equation of that line. So L is going to be the line that's given by y minus uh, 6 was the y coordinate which is equal to minus a half lots of x minus 4 and I could choose to expand this but I'm really not going to. Um, all I'm interested in is where this line intersects the x-axis which is the point where y is 0 so let's have a look what happens when I let y equals 0 this would then become negative 6 is equal to minus a half of x minus 4 or rearranging that that would become 12 is equal to x minus 4 or 16 is equal to x 
So back to my diagram. I now know that this point here is 16. So what does that tell me? Well, I've now got a triangle that's a base from 4 to 16. So that distance there is 12, and I know its height is 6. So let's be clear about how we're working this out. So region 2, which is this triangle, uh, has a base of 12 and a height of 6. And obviously, to find the area of a triangle, we're doing a half of the base times the height which is going to be 6 times 6, which is 36. So now to find R, I want to add together region 1, and I want to add together region 2. Region 1 we worked out was 10. Region 2 we've established is 36. So what do we get? We get 46 units square. Happy days.